Okay, let's talk about vectors. A vector is it's a quantity that, that depends deeply on direction. Examples of vector quantities are displacement, velocity, force. If you were asked, you know, if I'm going 75 miles an hour, how long is it going to take to get to Denver? Well, I can't answer that question. I mean, if you're going that way, it will take a lot less time than if you're going that way. I mean, if you're going that way, you've got to go around the Earth. Okay, direction here matters. Velocity is 60 miles an hour east. The magnitude of that velocity, the size of that velocity, we call speed. That's the 60 miles an hour. If you say, I'm going 60 miles an hour, that's just the magnitude. If I say, and that's the speed. If I say, I'm going 60 miles an hour east, that's velocity. That's a vector. Now, we represent vectors, strangely enough, with an arrow. Okay? Now, there are other quantities like temperature that don't depend on direction. When you say it's 30 below, you don't have to say it's 30 below east or 30 below west. It's just, it just cold. You know, you go outside and your nose hurts. Okay? It's a scalar quantity. Now, all of these vectors here represent the same quantity. In other words, the only thing important about a vector is its length and its direction. So you can pick a vector up and move it anywhere you need to on your page as long as you don't change those two things, its length and its direction. Now during that first tutorial next week, you'll be tempted to change the direction of your vector when you move it. Don't. Leave it the same direction. Okay? Now we represent the magnitude by the size of the vector, the length of the vector. Okay? So we would say that this vector has twice the magnitude of that vector. If you multiply a vector by a minus sign, you reverse the direction. You reverse the direction. So if these vectors represented velocity, and that represented, uh, let's say that represented 60 miles an hour towards Belgrade, okay? And this would be 120 miles an hour towards Belgrade. And this would be 60 miles an hour away from Belgrade. Okay. Now, very important idea. Mathematically, a negative number is smaller than a positive number. But when we're dealing with vectors, the magnitude is always a positive quantity. And so we, we don't say that a negative vector is smaller than a positive vector. That minus sign is just telling us what direction it's pointing. Okay, uh, what we say is that a longer vector has a bigger magnitude than a shorter vector, regardless of where they're pointing. 